Hello everyone, this is Darth Dracul. Sorry if my last videos have been on the side, been, how to say, stretchy, but I'm back and going to give my personal review. Don't worry, there won't be any spoilers, just clear cut information and probably a little bit of even ground in opinions, especially since People are giving up, in a way, on Marvel, Star Wars, and that. But I'll get to that shortly. So, maybe without further ado, I'll have a look at one or two phases of the Marvel's universe. And then we'll wing it from here. Here we go. Ah... Iron Man, the one that started it all. Robert Down Jr. as Tony Stank. <laughs> to be honest, Tony wasn't exactly my favorite, but I did respect the hell out of him, especially since he was developing a little bit of an extra brain cell in his smart, genius, mechanical brain. And I enjoyed that movie since I saw it a while ago, back in my my childhood. It wasn't in the cinemas, it was actually afterwards, and I was getting into the Marvel's universe. It was quite fun. And ironically enough, one of the directors has also in, been directing The Mandalorian. And even more ironic, he's also an actor. He also did some Star Wars work as well. I would be, I'm very surprised and impressed. <sighs> I wish I can explain more on it, but like I said, I can't spoil it. So, I enjoyed it very much. Ah, the underrated incredible, the incredible Hulk. Out of all the other Marvel movies, this one's the most underrated of them all, mainly because of the actors and, and actresses. But when I heard that, that there was a replacement actor, I was a little surprised. I thought he looked a little unfamiliar, but when I realized it was from a different studio, probably maybe even different designs, it was really a bit of a surprise, but I still enjoyed them, that movie, since it actually redeemed the Hulk in a way. But it did open possibilities, that last Hulk movie, to the other actors and actresses. I have spoken on that. Okay, Iron Man 2. I'm definitely good actor works, good music. I don't want to talk about it very much. I know the details, but I'm most certainly I'm a little embarrassed. Even Mickey Rourke would probably be a little <clears throat> starstruck. More like embarrassed, actually, because, <laughs> oh boy, to be honest, Tony can be an embarrassing idiot half the time. I don't even. I'm surprised he didn't end up in jail. And again, he probably ended up in jail. Four. Now that's a good beginning. Chris Hemsworth, Natalie. Uh, sorry, let's just say that actress, it's. I know about episode three of Star Wars. That day, I. It was complicated, and seeing her most of the time just keeps reminding me of those painful memories. But I'm happy I've known her from my childhood, from... If it wasn't for her, the Clone Wars would never have been born. So, that's just a fact. But I'm glad she was doing other works inside and outside of things. I enjoyed four very much. Four isn't my favorite, but I did enjoy his company and power. 
Ugh. Such a show off sometimes. Alrighty. Without further ado, I'm kind of getting digressing. Ah, now here's the good stuff. Captain America, the first Avenger. I think it's obvious. Captain America is my favorite. I have a lot of favorite moments in there. Half of them would be spoiling it otherwise. I know you guys saw these movies before, but others haven't, so it's best to keep it a secret. It was enjoyable. And to be honest, Steve was just like me in a way. A bit of damaged goods, trying to find a way to fit in, prove himself to the bloody world. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That kind of thing. But it was quite quite the ride. <laughs> ah, Marvel's The Avengers. All the the original Avengers, all in one place. <laughs> Even Black Widow. And a few others. To be honest, there were developments, progress, even egos and rivalries. To be honest, understandable on half of them, but I would really like to punch the teeth out of one of them. I really would. I don't care if it's on the Iron Man's helmet if my hand gets busted up. I would really love to punch that guy in the face. <laughs> but that on the final end of phase one was the beginning of something very special <sighs> the affinity saga which I'll get to number two shortly now starting right about here frame definitely half idiot definitely better <sighs> and still hate his guts but well I get I, I understand where he's coming from Iron Man traumas that kind of stuff to be honest I have my own issues sleeping types but I'm improving bit by bit, day by day. A shame about one of the actors that passed away a few years later. He played in the DC world of Young Justice, Vandal Savage. I'm sure you guys could figure him out. He was also in Mulan as the villain, which in the end, we also know that the lady who played as her also was the one who played as Fennec in The Mandalorian. And also was in Marvel as well. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff. But by back to my main point, Iron Man 3 was quite an armored adventure. I still want to punch him in the face. Ah, for the Dark World. When I heard that there was issues in relation to it being one of the worst Marvel's movies, I thought, that's weird. And then I hear an, another thing on the, on another one, which I'll get to that maybe on my next video. To be honest, maybe it's to show the flaw, or maybe there was the wrong way to go about it with the directors and, and uh, actors and actresses. I, I don't know what went wrong on that one, but I still enjoyed it. Made some developing progress. It's still good to see a famous actress. And ironically enough to see others as well. 
Anyway, let's see. Ah. Hmm. Okay, that was weird. Captain America the Winter Soldier, one of my absolute favorites. Both on the of course on the character and on the movie itself. <laughs> definitely quite a fun ride and it definitely gave debut to one of our characters, which I'll be speaking about in my other videos as well. Especially since what I've been some damning things I've been hearing about the show as well, especially since I watched it. It's really unusual that something that this toxicity would go far. But I'll get to that soon. Anyhow, Guardians in the Galaxy. Oh, all of my, oh boy. One of, few of my favorite characters and actors and actresses. Dave Batista, WWE superstar, now famous comedian actor. An absolute crazy knucklehead. Hmm. The actor who played his rocket. Absolute egotistical nutcase. Groot. Eh, he's just Groot. Gamora. I'm glad that Zoe played her, sir. When I found out about her the first time, it was at Avatar. It's not the, it's not the last airbender of Edge you're thinking about. This was the one that, that actually dominated the mo the movie ratings until well I'll explain in my next video of course but either way if it wasn't for for them we would not be getting Guardians of the Galaxy and of course if it wasn't for them helping out with James Gunn we would not be getting the Suicide Squad his mind is definitely horribly beautiful <laughs> All right, let's see. Avengers Age of Ultron. Yep. Definitely flaws, screw-ups. Background explains. Wounds. The usual. The thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. The thing is more beautiful when you stop and examine it a little more and let go. It's quite beautiful, that life. And finally, Ant-Man. Enjoyable, funny. <laughs> Enjoyed the kid though. <laughs> Interesting developments, which opened up the doors to extra possibilities. <sighs> Truthfully, I can speak about my favorites on phase one and two. But I think I'll give you my ranking once I finish up with the other two, which will start right about most likely in, in the next video or two. As for TV shows, they'll be on the same as well. I understand expectations and hopes and that, but it doesn't mean we have to go completely crazy with the actors and actresses, even the directors. It's not everyone's fault. Everyone makes mistakes. What's worse, and the characters, I care about them just as much as the actors and actresses. It's, un it's really weird why people are so harsh on, on these kind of things. Why they make these rules? Is it to hide or to protect themselves? I understand opinions, but sometimes opinions are like assholes. And it's a real kicker. Well, Looks to me, we're going to be reaching the end game very soon. 
In a day or so, I'm going to be taking care of a couple of loose ends in relation to my videos of the roleplay. And also, I'll be taking care of my other phases of the Marvel Universe. Star Wars will also be getting their chance to soon enough. I need to work on a new playlist, but I'll give you my ranking probably on the next part. If you want to this video, it's on Lucamus Prime. Mainly because it's loose ends and want to speak about basically his reign. Well, I have one last thing to say. I'll to you all until we meet again. Goodbye for now.